Hey everyone, welcome back to another new video. I hope you all are doing very well. So today I'm going to fix this laptop. This is a Dell Latitude 5400 laptop and we have received this laptop as a no power but uh, after we remove the CMOS battery and main battery and then we plugged in and this laptop turned on and now it's uh, uh, everything is okay. There is no problem but the main problem is let me show you now it's everything okay, everything works fine. Everything is okay, as you can see. But uh, when I shut down this laptop, I shut down. So as you can see, I shut it down. And then and then I press the power button as you can see it's not turning on by pressing the power button this is the problem this uh, if I unplug this charger and plugged again and as you can see it's turned on again but it's not turning on by press the power button so now I will try to fix this motherboard so let's try to fix it this is a motherboard part number as you can see here and uh, in this case what should we need to check I don't need to check all the power rail let's jump to the point just plugged in and I set my multimeter in DC mode and let's check this power switch I mean switching voltage here so as you can see here there is no switching voltage let's check the continuity mode she is ground she is ground as you can see there is no ground no sh or no shot but there is no switching volt should be 3.3 volt there is no switching voltage that's why it's not turning on by press the power button so in this case I need to open board view for this specific model to find out switching voltage comes from where so this is the exact same model and we have the power switch here as you can see here it's 1 and 2 it's ground sorry 1, in, one and 3 is ground and 2 and 4 is switching so let's flip the board and as you can see here so we need to find out this RE33 this is a capacitor and this is a resistor so I need to find this one so let me open my microscope camera open once again this one with the board okay as you can see the location here and we can see something wrong here this register this register and as you can see other side this capacitor we connect this register and this capacitor look like something difference of this color and it also it has crack also look so remove this capacitor first
So let's this let's check this capacitor. Is it really short or leakage? It's fully short. My multimeter is beeping. That means it's fully short. This Okay. We have replaced this capacitor which is connected with this resistor and this resistor other side goes to power switch. Clean this area a little bit. And now I'm going to plug in again and let's check the voltage is available or not in power switch. So let's check from here. So as you can see we have 3 volt now, other side also 3 volt. So let's check the power switch again. And we have 3 volt now in power switch. So I hope we fix the problem. Let's check this again. But then this is Dell laptop and it will restart several times due to remove our RTC battery. So we need to wait for a few seconds. It was very easy one. Okay, Windows is open. Let's shut down. Shut it down. And as you can see, it's completely shut down. Now I'm going to hit the power button and it's turned on. It's very simple, it was very easy. I hope you all are enjoy this video. If you like this video, so please hit the subscribe button. If you already subscribe my channel, thank you so much. See you in the next video. Until then, stay well. Bye bye.